Welcome to the Jack C. Taylor Visitor Centre. It's quite spectacular. It is a, an extraordinary building and we're really proud of all that's been achieved with this wonderful building for the garden and for St. Louis. The $100 million Jack C. Taylor Visitor Centre is far more than just a new entrance. Here, technology and nature work in harmony to create a visitor experience more accessible, sustainable, and practical than ever before. Why was there a need to replace the Ridgeway Center? The building itself was not performing well and was coming to the end of its useful life. Sometimes it's better just to start again and do something that is really going to be a world-class center as this is. What is this, I guess it's a sculpture you would call it above our heads? Yes, it is, and this is an area that we call the Lantern uh, over the William T. Kemper lobby. And it has a uh, series of screens that reflect the view of dappled light coming through a woodland canopy. The floor is very interesting. It is. A lot of work and thought went into creating this, uh, this floor with uh, the brass leaves from selected native trees from Missouri uh, were reproduced from our collections. Uh, the actual leaves were then copied and cut out in brass and put into this floor amongst cut river pebbles. And you can see the tulip tree and you can see an elm and the liquid amber and the sassafras and ash trees and chestnuts. So there are about 20 native Missourian tree species that are represented on this floor. This is a very large video screen, which we can use to, to talk about what's happening at the garden, to introduce people to some of the activities that are going on at any particular time. In planting new gardens around the centre, we wanted to make sure that we brought something new to the garden. So by and large, the species that we are including and have included and will include in those planting beds are new to the garden. They're also new to St. Louis. We have wanted to make sure that this building has many different plant elements brought into it. This is a log bench created by a craftsman in, in Missouri using a tree that was close to the end of its life in the garden on the footprint of the new center. And we thought how nice it would be to use this and give it some immortality. We have in the Sassafras restaurant created a whole series of panels that reflect different aspects of the garden's work with plants. They feature different subjects laid out in the most wonderful geometric and uh, artistic patterns. From overhead to underfoot, sustainability is an important feature of the new visitor center. The roof is covered with solar panels. Its extensive stormwater collection system is being used to hydrate the landscaping. And in the parking lot, the garden has added additional vehicle charging stations. One of the most striking features of the new visitor center is the Emerson Conservatory, a vast improvement over the floral display hall at the Ridgeway Center. In the Ridgeway Center, we had a large box-like structure where we would have the gardens, orchid show, and the holiday flower and train show, and some meetings. It had dreadful acoustics. It also was a really bad space to grow plants. We couldn't leave anything in there for too long because the plants would start to die. It just didn't have enough light whereas a new conservatory is designed for perfect growing space for exotic plants. But perhaps the biggest change from the previous visitor center is the addition of a dedicated event center. The event center provides us with a dedicated space where we can have all of these meetings and, and activities with its own entrance. We can also use it for uh, the ways in which many people enjoy the garden, which is to make the garden part of their family special celebration. This building has been funded entirely from private donations in St. Louis. 
everyone picked up very quickly on the importance of it. Everyone knows that the Missouri Botanical Garden is a world-class institution and has a huge reputation around the world. But we didn't have a world-class entry for it, and we do now.